How was the experience and how did you get ready on such short notice? Um, I mean, I think it's just going into the game, preparing like I'm going to play, um, kind of watching Brad, what he does. Uh, Aaron said right before when it's just like training, uh, seeing some of the best guys in the league every day. So it's nothing different. So, I mean, just being confident in my game, confident what I can bring to the table is trying to help the team win the best I can. Do you expect you're going to be in goal on Sunday in Orlando? Uh, that's a coach's decision. So, I'll, I mean, I'll be ready, but that's a coach's decision. So, Tim, on the first goal where you showed it, did you pick it up late? Uh, no, I just uh, need to move a little bit quicker and get it. But it was a decent shot, but it's one I'd like to have. I mean, I'd like to have all of them back, you know. Uh, but uh, just learn from it and move on, try to get better and improve. Jitters? Uh, you know, a little bit. Uh, but, you know, it's a little different. You go out there and Zussi's hitting a free kick, so you don't really have time to be nervous because you're already thinking <laughs> about the free kick. So uh, it was nice that, I mean, in a way, it was nice to get into it right away and have a ball come at you. Um, you know, I wasn't really waiting around, but, you know, always a little excited to play and always excited and excited to make my debut and everything. Just wish I could have helped the team win and uh, kept the winning streak going. But uh, we'll take it back and hopefully work harder and uh, get back to where we need to be. What's the difference in... MLS level and USL level, for example? Uh, I think it's just the speed um, and a lot of it and just the, the knowledge of the players. I mean, having Park, uh, Parky and uh, Leo in front of me, they made it really easy. Those guys were working very hard to block shots and doing everything they could to help me out. Um, just giving me a lot of confidence and everything. And guys were just telling me to calm down, play my game, do what I can, and try to help the team. So, What were the most nervous moments? Was it set pieces, corner kicks, things like that? Uh, Actually, I mean, I think for me, it's when the ball's on the other side and I don't have much to do when they're down in the, about to hit a set piece, you know, your mind's going over everything. And uh, Aaron Hyde's got me prepared to, was in all the film sessions. And so uh, and learning from Brad and Alec and Mitch every week has really helped my game improve a lot. Um, and so I think that just kind of watching the film and being ready and always preparing like I'm going to be the player uh, really helped me out because I knew on the set pieces where guys might end up, who needed to be alert, what we needed to be doing. So I think that was something that I was trying to focus on as I went into the game. Did Brad talk to you at halftime? Blaine, Blaine, you're good. Blaine. Did Brad talk to you at halftime and kind of say and give you any like advice? Uh, how you were doing? Yeah, he just he just said uh, just a couple, couple things. He said and just enjoy it, have fun. Um, and then he told me not to get too close to my ear post on crosses. So uh, <laughs> he's kind of just helping me out, but he just told me to enjoy it and play my game and do what I needed to do. I think I saw you talking to uh, LGP and a couple guys coming out at, at, at the start of the half. Uh, mm -hmm. what, were they, what were you kind of saying to them? What were they saying to you? Uh, I was just talking to them about a couple things tactically, like what I was seeing in the back, just kind of letting them know. Because, you know, sometimes when it's loud, it's hard to communicate. So just giving them a heads up on where guys might end up and what I was seeing and um, just trying to let them know that I'd be behind them if they needed me. So. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, after, after I mean, everything was pretty quiet as it was happening, and then it got to the other end, and I could hear the people cheering, so it was pretty cool. That first shot hit you where? Hit me uh, pretty much right in the right in the Adidas logo here, <laughs> kind of right in the logo. So it was, uh, I mean, it happened quick. It was just closing them down and uh, trying to make myself big and make a save and help the team out. So uh, fortunate to be in the right spot and make a save. Anything else for Paul? Do you have any family here? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, my, my dad, actually, he's watching from work, um, and my mom is probably watching as well, because I'm sure my dad texted her and told her to turn <laughs> it on. Uh, and I'm pretty sure my grandparents are watching as well. My grandma just figured out how to do the ESPN Plus <laughs> so she could stream the games. Um, but she actually will probably get upset because I didn't tell her I was playing. But grandma, it's not my fault. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, my family was watching back home. Right. Uh, I was lucky enough to have my twin brother uh, from Madison. He was in Madison, Wisconsin. So oh, he okay. drove down to the Chicago game last week. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, no family in town. But yeah. Does that watch all the matches? Yeah, I know. He loves to watch all of them. And he's watching the first team ones, the USL ones. He's watching them all. My family's super supportive of me. Uh, it's a, we're a sports family. My brother wrestles at Wisconsin, so it's kind of, uh, and my younger brother wrestles, so it's a, we're a sports family and we love sports, so my dad's always watching and always kind of telling, like, he's like, hey, did you see what Brad did? And I'll be like, uh, I didn't see that. And he's like, oh yeah, I watched it like three times. So, All right, dad. <laughs> like, so he, he's on top of it for sure. How much, did you have a chance to look at your phone? I mean, uh, I, I haven't really looked at my phone. I've just kind of been taking in the moment a little bit and kind of decompressing from the game and stuff and settling back down. Blaine, so. Ben Duck. If you do happen to be in there on Sunday, how much will this practice time between now and Sunday be beneficial to you? 
Uh, I mean, I think it's just like any other week of practice, just getting ready to play games, um, just kind of treating it the same way. It's um, taking everything one save at a time. Um, so just trying to get better as much as I can and be ready that if they need me, I'll go in and try to help the team win. Uh, if not, helping the guy who's playing get ready. So like I said earlier, it's a coach's decision on who plays, and uh, so it's not for me to make. So it's just to try to get myself in the best spot possible to if I need to be ready to play the game, play the game. And if it's on the bench, put on the bench. If it's not there, it's not there. So just kind of getting ready and doing what I can to help the team. Last one, Doug. It's tough for guys who are picked in the third and fourth rounds in the Super Draft to stick mm -hmm. with, with teams. A lot of them don't last very long at all. What have you done that's enabled you to, to stick with Atlanta United? Um, I mean, I think for me, it's just a big thing is my attitude is working hard, um, knowing I'm going to make mistakes. I mean, it's you're coming to a different level. Um, get, mistakes will happen, but just got to work hard and work through them um, and try to get better every day. And each time I'm getting on the field, my goal is to get just a little bit better than the day before. So um, one day at a time and hopefully just keep going the right direction and eventually uh, get to where I want to be. Who's your goalie mentor? Who do you uh, model yourself after? I, uh, I like a bunch of different ones. Um, one I watch a lot is Matt Ryan in Brighton in the uh -huh. Premier League. Yeah. Um, but obviously Brad is a big <laughs> one as well. Uh, so And Alec and Mitch, all those guys too, like just taking, they, they've all been around the league and they've been places and they're far more experienced than I am. So just learning from those guys every day. Uh, those guys have welcomed me with open arms and they've, I mean, Brad's helping me almost every practice with just little ideas and just like, hey, you might want to think about this, do this differently. Um, and Aaron's been the same way. It's very helpful. It's just like all the guys have been very helping and um, really appreciate what, the way they've treated me and they've uh, made it easy for me to transition into this.